Welcome to this video. My name is John Watts and I want to address a question from Kay Smith and this question is relating to let's say you get sued by an original creditor, a debt buyer and there's an arbitration agreement and you compel arbitration. So uh, Kay Smith says I filed a motion to compel arbitration. Judge granted debt buyer never paid their filing fees with AAA. AAA is American Arbitration Association. That's one of the dominant arbitration groups. Uh, subsequently, AAA closed the file. I returned to civil court with a motion dismissed for failure to prosecute, which is exactly what I would recommend that you do. I thought I had a pretty good case, but judge denied the motion with no explanation. Not quite sure what to do next. One or judge denied it for lack of jurisdiction. So uh, that, that's just, it's a great comment. I don't know why the judge did that. I mean, most judges, when they say, hey, we are ordering the plaintiff, that would be the debt buyer, ordering the plaintiff to go arbitrate this, and then the plaintiff refuses to do it, and the arbitration group says, hey, we're shutting down our file, most judges I know would just dismiss the case because you've been ordered to arbitrate, but yet you won't go through with it. That case should be dismissed. So I don't know why the judge denied that with no explanation. It could be some kind of technical thing, like I'll share this with you. Years ago, when we'd file motions, we had to get, in certain counties, we had to get the hearing date, and we had to put the hearing date on the motion, or it would be automatically denied. Now, that's not the case anymore, but my point is there could be some weird little quirk with that particular court or judge where they say, well, because you didn't do it in you know, 14 size uh, type or whatever, or Times New Roman. I mean, I would just call and see if, you know, you can get an explanation or file a motion to, in a lot of places, it's called a motion for reconsideration. Just like, hey, judge, I know you ruled against me, but would you please give this some more thought and just make sure you're laying out exactly what happened. You know, on this date, I got sued. Here, I filed a motion to compel arbitration. Here, Your Honor granted that motion. And like, I would attach all this to make it super easy for the judge. And then, you know, we went to AAA, but AAA sent this letter to the debt buyer saying, here's the filing fee. Maybe they sent a warning letter. Then they said, we're closing our file because you, you the debt buyer, won't uh, pay the filing fee. And so... Judge, I have a right to arbitrate, but they refuse to arbitrate. Seems like their case ought to be dismissed. And so you may want to do something like that. Now, you know, obviously, you know, get with a consumer lawyer in your state. That's always the best answer. Uh, and I'll put a link where you can find lawyers. But I would do something like that. You know, call the court, call the clerk's office, see if you can get an answer. It may just be some technical thing. But if not, then you may want to ask the judge to reconsider. But that's exactly what I would have done if I had represented somebody in your exact situation. The debt buyer won't pay the filing fee. Then I'd be going to court going, judge, they obviously don't want to pursue it. Usually this is called a dismissal for lack of prosecution. We think of prosecution as criminal, but that phrase just means you fail to prosecute, to push forward your case. And so uh, I would give that another shot and hopefully you'll have good success with that. And let us know what happens. That's really strange. The judge did not throw that case out.